Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we've got another motor test for you. I love these motor tests because we get to see how these motors perform. And one thing I wanted to hit on before we get into the test, you know, you're going to see in these tests when we're spinning up just one motor in a static test, you're going to see a higher amp draw than you would normally. And the reason that is is because these batteries that we're running, especially in the 1300 milliamp and 75c they're only able to draw so much current and so um, when i'm just running one battery to one motor there you know that motor is pulling more current than it ever could um, with one battery and four motors so this is just to give you a baseline of one motor compared to the next not so much well this motor is gonna you know pull 36 amps at 16 volts or whatever it is it's to look at okay well this motor pulled 36 amps at 16 volts and on the same test using the same baseline um, configuration this one pulled 31 amps at 16 volts so you can kind of compare okay so that just kind of get it out there so people kind of understand how these work but man look at this motor right is this one of the most beautiful motors you've ever seen? This is from Serge over at Pyro Flip RC. This is his Team Edition 2206 2450 motor. And I think he's hit it on the head with as far as the looks of it. So we're going to get into the test and see how it does as far as performance. But first, let's get some baseline. Well, you can see it weighs 28.9 grams. Let's zero out the mic here. And 27.04, and 10.34. Take a look at it here. You can see the windings are really nice. Let me see if I can get this to focus. I'm telling you, if you guys have a lot of, anybody out there have a lot of experience, this is, I'm running a T6 or T5i, Canon T5i camera with a standard lens, and I'm having a hard time getting it to do the right, the kind of focus I need in video. So someone email me if they know the right way to do it. I have experience with photography, but not with video and it's a very different world so uh, but you can see those you know windings are nice and tight curved magnets so we're going to put this on the test bench or on the thrust tester and get an idea of what she does this is the 2206 2450 hyperlite team edition motor This is the Hyperlite Team Edition running Q5040 quad props. Hyperlite Team Edition motors on Racecraft 5045 triprops. Twenty two oh six twenty four fifty KV motors. These are the Hyperlite Team Editions running Dow TJ fifty forty five props. Well, there you have it. You can see. Right around 1100, 1180 grams of thrust, which is really good um, for a 
this motor, especially it's not a 2600 kV. I think this is kind of a sweet spot. You know, I've got some 2600 kV motors on some of my drones that I fly or, or two of them actually have those motors on them. And I love the power, but, um, they really like to eat the batteries. And so I think this is the perfect combination of, if you want a little more horsepower, but still want, um, you know, to be able to fly more than two and a half or three minutes. Um, but anyways, I think, you know, if, if you're looking for a good motor and you're wanting to race and you're wanting something very smooth, these are, I know from putting these in clean flight and running them up, these are really smooth motors. Um, these are definitely ones to look at. These are the Hyperlite V3s and, um, they're a really, well-balanced, well-made motor, and you can get them at pyrofliprc.com. And I hope you guys are getting something out of these tests. I've got quite a few coming up. And check out my website at xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. I hope you guys have some time to fly today. Thanks so much.